Statue of Liberty is undoubtedly one of the biggest tourist attractions in US. A gift from France to US epitomized independence and hope for millions of immigrants during darkest times of humankind. And if Hollywood movies have taught us anything, it's that in olden times if there is something shady going on, Nazis have probably something to do about it. So in today's video, let's see a story when Nazi spies nearly blew up Statue of Liberty. If a trip to Statue of Liberty is part of your holiday plans, you might find yourself hiking up a long spiral staircase to the highest point accessible to the public. And that point will be the crown of the statue, not the torch as some might think. July of this year marked 103 year of the torch being inaccessible to the public. It was close to the visitors in 1916 due to a series of explosions that some historians say was the work of country's first major foreign terror cell. This explosion took place on Black Tom Island in New York Harbor at Jersey City. It jolted millions from their beds and broke windows all over the region, causing about a million dollars worth of shattered glass. And the shockwaves produced by this blast were as powerful as 5.5 magnitude earthquake and were felt as far as Philadelphia. The total property damages reached an estimated of 20 million, or around 500 million in today's currency. This blast sadly also killed at least 5 people, including a police chief and a 10 week old boy who was thrown out of the crib due to the blast. The actual death toll however will never be known, because some people may have vanished in inferno caused by the explosion. During this very explosion, flying debris ripped into the Statue of Liberty and broke the rivets in raised arm that holds the torch of freedom closing it to the tourists forever. Now to be fair, during a 4 year renovation in 1982, the rework has been done on the statue. The repair crew was able to rectify misplaced right arm of the statue and the head which was positioned 2 feet of the center. However, they weren't able to fix the staircase to the torch completely and that's why it's still close to the tourists. This explosion on the Black Tom Island was unsolved for years. At first, an accident seemed like the strongest possibility. But a wave of mysterious fires and explosions around the country raised doubts that this wasn't just a matter of bad luck. In the years leading up to United States entry in World War I, American manufacturers made a fortune selling ammunition to Britain, France and Russia. And Black Tom was a huge storage facility for explosive powders and weapons where they were prepared for their journey to the no man's land in Europe, where they would be used to kill German soldiers. So, in response to this, German spies tried to destroy the supply factories and storage facilities. In the beginning of investigation, the blame for the disaster was aimed at mosquitoes. One of the theories suggested that a spark came from a smudge pot that had been carelessly set by a night's watchman in an attempt to repel mosquitoes. But there was no way to confirm this notion, and within the day of explosion, owners of the factory were under arrest for manslaughter, but the charges did not stick. A few days after the explosion, the New York Times published an article pointing out similar events at the companies that had been shipping ammunition to the Allies. The number of incidents that had occurred in two years since the war started pointed to the possibility of German involvement, and Black Tom was the prime target as that facility alone involved around 2 million pounds of explosives. As the US entered the war, responsibility for these terrifying blasts remained a mystery. World War I was over for several years before there were any definite answers, and they came as a part of lawsuit brought against Germany by the companies that had experienced these mysterious explosions after 1914. The charge was sabotage, engineered by the secret agents who had come to US shortly after the war broke out in Europe, as the diplomatic staff of German ambassador Johann Hendrik von Brinsdorf. One of the German agents, Captain Franz von Ritalin, who called himself the Dark Invader, promoted the widespread use of pencil bombs. This time released fire producing device nearly fit into a small tube, no bigger than a cigar. It was easy to hide and could be designed to blow up in hours or even days after it was planted. These pencil bombs were used to sink dozens of ships carrying ammunition to the Allies. They were also the part of arsenal that German spies carried with them as they rode towards Black Tom Island around midnight on July 30th, 1916. And by 2 am they had successfully blown the largest barge. Firefighters had to work in the rain of bullets to contain the flames and bring the people out of the danger zone. It would be 1939 before American lawyers would gather the evidence needed to prove that German spies were truly responsible. At that point, they had confessions from key players involved, including von Rintelen, who boasted that he had conceived the plan, and it took another 14 years for businesses targeted that night to be awarded with damages. 
For a few decades afterwards, Black Tom was mentioned anytime anything blew up, a kind of a yardstick for fire-related disasters. Then it slowly started to fade away from public eye and was forgotten. Today it is mostly discussed when someone wants to know why it's impossible to climb higher in New York's landmark. Black Tom is now part of Liberty State Park. A small memorial features a circle of American flags and a plaque that describes the disaster and declares, you are now walking on a site which saw one of the worst acts of terrorism in the American history. Okay, that concludes this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and as always, thanks for watching.